dwell in 2016 with sickness anymore. Amen. So we need to address the issue of sickness, issue of disappointment, issue of diseases, issue of any yoke that is operating in your life. Amen. It has to be addressed. So that when you cross over to 2016, you will see those things no more. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. So uh, tonight, after the word of God, we enter prayers through deliverance. You have to be delivered from your face so that you will enter 2016 freely. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And immediately it's after 12. We will not spend time here. Before 12.30, we should be over. Hallelujah. Amen. I need a fast reader tonight. His brother colleagues here. Take your Bible and please place a microphone behind him. Or Sister Cindy. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, the hour has come. Glorify your name. May you give us some of the tools, some of the equipment, some of the things that will enable us to cross over tonight. Because in your word, they lie everything. They lie the blessing. In your word, they lie liberty. Now the hour of your word has come. May your word bring freedom into our life. May your word break every yoke and shackles into our life. May your word deliver us from every bondage in the mighty name of Jesus. Put your hands together for Master Jesus. Celebrate Jesus with a clap of you. Somebody should give me the book of Exodus. Read first Exodus chapter 8, verse 1 to 3. And after you stop there, you go back to Exodus chapter 14, verse 1 to 30. Exodus. Exodus chapter 8, verse 1. Yes, 2, 3. You stop at 3. It says, Seven days passed after the Lord struck the nine. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go to Pharaoh and say to him, This is what the Lord says, Let my people go, so that they may worship me. If you, if you refuse them to go, I will plague your whole country with frogs. The Nile will be teen with frogs. They will come up into your palace and your bedroom and onto your bed, into the houses of your officials and on your people, into your ovens and leading troops. Stop at three. Chapter 14, verse 1. Yes. Then the Lord said to Moses, Tell the Israelites to turn back and come near the Harriot, between Middle and the sea. They are to come by the sea directly opposite Baal Sikhon. Pharaoh will think the Israelites are wandering around the land in confusion, him in by the desert. And I will hand in Pharaoh's heart, and he will pursue them. Then I will gain glory for myself through Pharaoh and all his army. And the Egyptians will know that I am the Lord. So the Israelites did this. When the king of Egypt, who was told, when the king of Egypt was told that the people had fled, Pharaoh and his officials changed their mind about them and said, What have we done? We have let the Israelites go and have lost their service. Verse 6. So he had his chariot made ready and took his army with him. He took 600 and he took 600, the best chariot, along with all the other chariots of Israel. Of Egypt. Verse 13. Verse 13. Moses answered the people, Do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance of the Lord. We bring you today. The, the, the Egyptian you see today 
you will never see them again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to them? Tell the Israelites to move on. Raise your staff and stretch, stretch, stretch for your hand over the sea to divide the water so that the Israelites can go through the sea on dry ground. I will harden the heart of Egyptians. So they will, go with, they will go in after them. And I will gain glory to Pharaoh and all his army, to his chariot and his horsemen. His, his 18. 18 27. 27. And it says, Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. And at the end of the day, the sea was back to its place. The Egyptians were fleeing toward it, and the Lord swept them into the sea. 28. The water flowed back and covered the chariots and horsemen. The entire army of Pharaoh that had followed the Israelites in the sea, not one of them survived. Hallelujah! Thank you for the word of God. I title my message tonight, I must overcome the fear and cross over the Red Sea. Hallelujah. See, I must overcome the Pharaoh. I must overcome the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh of 2015. And I must cross the Red Sea. Of 2015. Hallelujah. Amen. When you look deeply into the scripture, you discover that there are two things I want us to address tonight. I want us to focus on two issues tonight. Number one issue is Pharaoh. Then the second issue is what? The rest. Hallelujah. Two issues there. God promised them, gave them a promise that they will enter their promised land. And after God has given them these promises, meanwhile they were still in the hands of the Egyptians. They were still in the hands of Pharaoh. And God gave them these promises. Now the children of Israel, they have two issues in their journey and in their life. Number one issue, Pharaoh. And number two issue is a diversity. Let's talk about Pharaoh. Who is Pharaoh? And when we talk about Pharaoh, I want you to look at Pharaoh within your circle. Look at Pharaoh within your life. Now, who is Pharaoh? Praise the Lord. I want us to look at one meaning of Pharaoh. Pharaoh is someone that stands between you and the will of God. Someone that stands between you and the will of God. God has proposed that you will prosper. But someone will come and stand between you and the promises of God. Someone will come and stand in between. Let me see how the will of God will come to pass upon your life. Let me see how the purpose of God will come to accomplishment. So now, Pharaoh standing between the promises of God in the life of the children of Israelites, and then there is Pharaoh in between. Hallelujah. Pharaoh was standing between God's promises and the children of Israelites. Who is standing in between you and the promises of God upon your life? You need to look at the issue. Who is the person that is responsible? What is an issue that is standing between you and the glory of God upon your life? Between you and the blessings of God upon your life? Remember the Bible said in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11. The Bible said, I know the God I have for you. It is not a God of evil. It is not a thought to harm you. It is not a thought to destroy you. It is not a thought to make you to shame. It is not a thought of sickness. It is not a thought of disease. It is not a thought of disappointment. But it is a thought of good to bring every will 
that he has for you to an end. That is the thought of God. It has never been thought of God that you will always be in soul. It has never been thought of God that you will be a reproach. Children of God, it is time you have to begin to look at your issue. Anything happening in our life is within ourselves. Hallelujah. Amen. In between, there is fair. Who is the enemy that is standing between you and the blessings of God?
package you. It keeps you somewhere. If it is sickness they use, they will use sickness to package you. There are many people here, you are sick. A sick person cannot do anything. There is no glory of God in sickness. In other words, sick person cannot praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Pharaoh package this children of Israel like one place. They can't move to anywhere. I don't know who has packaged you. I don't know where they have placed you. You can't do anything. You look as if you are in prison. Physically, you are not in prison. But spiritually, you are in prison in spiritual realm. And when you are in the camp or under the custody of enemies in the spiritual realm, physically, you will not do anything. Anything you do, if you put on a business, you will experience failure. Because you have been arrested spiritually. Children of Israel, they can't do business of their own. They can't do anything or perform anything. Because they were in slavery. The Egyptians has enslaved them. Slave, serve their master. Amen. Before a slave we eat, the master has to do all eat for us. Hallelujah. And if one a little slave, that's what a slave person will eat. If you are under slavery, I tell the truth, you can't perform a duty. And any duty you are struggling to perform, at the end, you end up failure. Some people you experience failure in life. You experience failure in business. You need to check whether you are under a slavery, whether you are under bondage. Where nothing you could do and something happened. Then I saw you doing something in 2016. Hallelujah. Amen. 
enemy of progress. The hindrances. Pharaoh was standing as a hindrance to the children of God. The labor. At the end, they will not eat the fruit of their labor. They will put on their strength and put on their zeal. Are you like that? 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 Have you experienced such situation in your life? I declare and I declare. Yeah, they push through, they push through. 